Gravity is situation number two, it's magic. So that's why for a while they thought gravity was magic because of the fact that there is not an observable force that makes something fall. It's magic. I never really thought about that, but I guess, yeah, before noon they were like, yeah, just magic. does this thing, witchcraft will. Yeah, whatever. Okay? Because there wasn't an observable force. Now, yeah. if I do this and just put my hand like this and it begins to move, oh, it's magic. But if I just touch it, oh, okay. Nothing. Oh, let's see. When you touch it, touch it. Move. So that's what physics tries to do. Is that they're going to sit there and go, okay, what is that mechanism that you have all this invisible stuff happening? What's happening? What's the energy? What's the form of the energy that's going from my hand through the glass to the particles, none of which you can observe, that magically makes that column of liquid go up. That's what physics tries to figure out. And there's a whole bunch of, and it looks relatively simple until you begin to study the complexity of it. And it's like, ooh, what does that look like? Okay, stop that, stop that camera for a second. I gotta hand some stuff out. Just red button. Yeah. yeah.